well you have heard it before there are two things that are inevitable in life death and taxes but today we know there is one more and it's change change is the greatest single issue affecting yours and my life will be for the rest of our time on this earth speaking of change oracle came up with a bunch of changes to our people soft application with people tools 8.60 people tools 8.60 was released on october 14 2022 for cloud customers and on december 1st 2022 they released for on premise customers let's go through these changes one by one by the way my name is siva khoya i am your host today welcome to people soft channel what you see on the left hand side is people soft application built on older version of people tools which is 8.59 on the right hand side you can see people soft application built on latest tools which is people tools 8.60 needless to say the first difference that jumps on us is the look and feel oracle introduced a theme called redwood theme with people tools 8.60 with more vibrant colors and industry standard icons spread across our entire people soft application this state of art next generation theme was implemented across all suite of oracle products for example we have the same theme in oracle cloud as well for those who don't know redwood is one of oracle company's location why don't we start by comparing the banners in both releases as you can see here in tools 8.60 they added two new icons to our header banner with the help of first icon we can access our recently visited pages and the second one we can access our favorite pages by clicking on heart icon right now it is empty because i didn't add any favorites if we take a look at our older tools version you will notice that recently visited items and favorites are located here and they just changed the placement in people tools 8.60 but it is not just that there is more to it in case of people tools 8.59 if we navigate away from our home page we can no longer access our recently visited items as well as favorites but it's not the case with people tools 8.60 if i navigate to a different page i can still access my recently visited pages as well as favorites definitely they have improvised the way we access recently visited items or our favorites saving our users some time if we take a look at recently visited items in our older tools version the maximum number of recently visited pages that are visible here was controlled at the system level not at individual user preference level in people tools 8.59 but in people tools 8.60 we have an option at user preference level to control how many number of recently visited items can be displayed here in the range of 0 to 30 in order to set that option we have to navigate to my preferences from actions menu i'll click on my preferences let me slide off my left hand menu this is where we set the count of recently visited items in the range of 0 to 30 i'll set it to 15 i will quickly tab out and save my changes if we access recently visited items again you will be able to see 15 pages that you recently visited until tools 8.59 we just used to have one banner called global banner which is accessible all the time wherever you are inside people soft application in tools 8.60 oracle introduced a contextual banner specific to the content that is displayed at first glance you don't see any noticeable differences let's take a couple of examples to understand the newly introduced contextual banner this is the contextual banner i am talking about you see there is a separate action list for the content that is displayed as you can see here all home page related action items are listed in the contextual banner prior to tools 8.60 all the action list 
is tied to the global banner context specific action list is much cleaner to me to understand contextual banner i opened approvals page in both tools a.59 and a.60 as you can see there is a separate action list for our approval transactions in tools a.60 but in our older tools everything is tied to the global banner let's go through one last example to understand contextual menu let's navigate to any page in both environments as you can see in older tools version you can see page title displayed on the global banner but you will notice in tools a.60 the page title is displayed on the contextual banner that i am talking about and related actions beneath it one other important change that they made in tools a.60 is global search is available all the time if we take a look in our old tools version we have to click on magnifying glass and search for the data but with people tools a.60 the search box is already available all we need to do is search for our data until recently we know people soft tracks recently visited pages with people to say dot 60 people soft will also track recent search filters for example you want to search all approved purchase orders after populating my search filter i will click on search button and access the purchase order that i am looking for let's assume after working on other activities for a few hours you want to access the same data again what you can do is go back to your purchase order component then click on find an existing value and then click on our new option recent searches and click on the recent filters that i used to search the data over time if our filter list grows big we can click on edit button and delete all the filters to clear old filter values and start tracking new filters in tools a.60 by default it displays only 100 search results unlike 300 in our older tools versions if i click on search you can see by default system is displaying 300 but with newer tools by default it displays only 100 values but keep in mind we have an option to update this count in our people tools options page in tools a.60 oracle made some tweaks to component search functionality first of all look of find an existing value and add a new value is different in a.60 even though the underlying functionality remained the same as you can see in prior releases find an existing value is a tab but it is no longer a tab in tools a.60 likewise add a new value was a tab before but it appears as a button in tools a.60 like i said before the functionality remains the same one other important change that was made as part of component search functionality is in prior releases we can leverage both our standard search as well as keyword search at the same time but it's no longer the case with tools a.60 system can be configured in such a way that either we can configure a standard search or keyword search both of these search functionalities will not appear at the same time the switch can be done relatively simple thanks to the new configurable search functionality let me quickly show you how to switch our standard search to keyword search in order to make that change i have to navigate to people tools utilities manage configurable search then i will search for our purchase order component and here by default standard search is configured i will switch it to keyword search next i will load the default search criteria and result options likewise i will navigate to add new tab and load the default criteria and save my changes that's it we are done switching our default search method from standard to keyword search now let's go back to our purchase order component and see what happened it looks like our trick worked 
Now the default search method is keyword search method for our purchase order component. Let's quickly search for some data. As you can see in our older tools version, if you want to see all the purchase orders that were created in the year 2023, I can drill into it. In tools 8.60, they enhance this capability to go even more further. I can filter the purchase order created in the year 2021 in the month of October and select the date 19th to see all the purchase orders that were created on 2021 October 19th. Definitely a very helpful capability that was added here. Now I want to share with you a couple of must know features coming from tools a.59 and how to configure them. Just in case if you are jumping from tools 8.58 or earlier version to 8.60 tools. The first feature I want to talk about is alphabetical sorting of our navigational menu. Let's navigate to navigational menu. I will click on navigator and then on menu. In tools 8.60 by default navigational menu is sorted in alphabetical order just like you are seeing now. For some reason if you are a user like me who don't like alphabetical sorting you want to go back to the old way of navigating our system. All I need to do is click on settings icon and change it to standard sort and save my changes. Hola, now you can see the old way of navigating which is standard order. But remember that the change I did only impacted me because it's at user level and it will not impact any other user who is using the system. If your intention is to change the navigational order for all the users, we can do that as well through a simple online configuration change. Let me show you how to do it. In order to make that change, we have to navigate to menu, people tools, personalization, define system personalization. Let's search for data and select people tools. Now I'll navigate to format tab and search for nav menu. And here you can select set default value. This specific option controls how the default navigational order appears to all the users in your system. Either it can be alphabetical or standard, whatever your system administrator chooses. But keep in mind, if an individual user manually changed his personal navigational option, the default setting that we did here will not be applicable to him because he already applied his preference and defaulting will not be applicable to him. I want to bring one last user interface change that came with people tools 8.59. With tools 8.60, the notification bar on the right hand side comes by default. It never used to be the case in prior releases. If you are not using notifications much, it may feel annoying to you that extra space occupied by something that you are not using. In order to hide this notification bar, it is relatively simple. At user level, you can click on action menu for our home pages and click personalize home page. I can simply flip this button to know and save my changes. The change I just did did the trick and notification bar no longer appears for me. If you want to change this option at system level for all users, relatively straightforward, just like how we did for navigational menu sorting, we need to navigate to the same page, people tools, personalization, define system personalization and click on search data and again people tools and again navigate to format tab, then search for HP notify PNL, then select set option default value. This specific option decides if we need to show notification panel to our users or not by default. Right now it is set to yes. If I flip it to no and click OK and save my changes, the change I just did will impact all the users that did not set their personal preference related to show notification panel. For all those users, the notification panel will be hidden. That's it guys. This is how to control notification panel visibility for all users. That's it for today guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you really like my content and consider subscribing if you want more of these videos. I will see you soon. Have a great day.